Good evening, everyone. This is the Rattledgem Broadcasting Network submission to the Super Blog Team Up. We are doing another film commentary track. I have been wanting to do this for a long time. First, I am your mandated reporter, and frankly, I'm mortified, Mr. Mark Rattledge. And as I said, I have been wanting to do this for a long time. But I'll tell you, with the 100 people I work with through various podcasts, not a single one of them appreciates, truly appreciates, the majesty of the topic we're going to be talking about tonight. Nobody understands the greatness that is Flash Gordon. Yes! Finally, we are going to watch Flash Gordon... And we are going to be doing a commentary track for the 1980 feature film featuring music by Queen. The film was directed the film was directed by Mike Hodges and produced by legend D- Dino De Laurentiis. Laurentis, Laurentis. Laurentis is a whole other guy. <laughs> it stars Sam Jones, Melody Anderson, to Paul, Max von Sydow, the late Max von Sydow, most recently in the Star Wars films. Timothy Dalton, y'all know who Timothy Dalton is, right? Brian Blessed and Ornella Muti. The film was co-written by Michael Allen, known for Enter the Dragon, eh? and Lorenzo Sample, who had pre- previously scripted De Laurentiis' remake of King Kong, and uses a camp style similar to the 1960s TV series Batman. In an attempt to appeal fans to the original comics and serial films. Before we talk about, get into the movie, just a quick uh, refresher on what Flash Gordon was before it became this majestic, wonderful, simply splendid, some might even say mediocre, Flash Gordon film. Uh, Flash Gordon is our titular hero of a space soap opera uh, comic strip. He started out in the funny pages. Uh, it was created and originally drawn by Alex Raymond. <clears throat> um, it was first published January 7th in 1934. The strip was inspired by and created to compete with the already established Buck Rogers. Uh, yes, Buck Rogers. I used to watch that as a kid, too, when it was in syndication because, you know, 76, not... Uh, Whatever that show was first on. Anyway, the Flash Gordon comic strip has been translated into a wide variety of media, which is why we're talking about it tonight, because the Superblog team up tonight, the uh, theme is expanded universes. So we had this comic strip, right? But it gets developed into movies, movie serials, television shows. There was a, uh, there was a show uh, on the Sci-Fi Channel from 2007 to 2008. And an animated series. Do you guys remember the Defenders of the Universe with Flash Gordon, the Phantom, and some magician whose name I can't recall at this time? Yeah, so Flash Gordon, uh, Defenders of the Earth is what it was called, 1986. Um, there's been other Flash Gordon TV shows as well. There was the 54 to 55 live action show. There was a 79 to 80 animated show. There was Flash Gordon, The Greatest Adventure of All in 1982, the aforementioned Defenders of the Earth in 86, a Flash Gordon TV show in, 90, in 96, and lastly, the sci-fi series uh, in 2007 through 2008. There's been radio serials, there was a magazine, there's been comic books, novels, an appearance at the World Fair, and hey, Sam Jones, Sam goddamn Jones is going to be at Cape Cod convention or something or other. It's got to be at a convention for the 40th anniversary of the movie we're going to talk about tonight. So, Flash Gordon, the very definition of expanded universe. Yes, sir. All right. But enough of my blather. We are going to now watch the movie and talk about it with you. And I am joined by my eldest daughter, of all people. Yes, when you can't get professional podcasters to come on and talk about a subject, grab a child. That's what I always say. Hello. <laughs> my name is Lillian. That's right. Lillian Rattledge. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the bathroom. 
Oh, uh, well, before you go to the bathroom, let me introduce you. And currently going to the bathroom is my six-year-old son, Jonas Radledge. Say hello to the people, Jonas. Hello. They can't see you. Stop dancing. Hello. Okay, go pee and come back. <laughs> He's going to be a little crazy today, so make sure you, you don't get crazy yourself. All right, so... You and I watched this movie once. I get, you'd never seen it before, but I've you know I've taken you to see movies in the theaters. I took you to go see The Matrix, which confidentially uh, was not for you. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was what we call rated R, I, and I didn't. And I forgot that. I did not get terrified at all. I only got terrified a few times, but the rest you, no. You got what now? Terrified. Ter- oh, okay. I only got terrified a few times, not all the time. Um, so what was, so, okay, so let me talk to you about this movie before we started, okay? okay. So I played the whole movie for you so you knew what you'd be watching, because, you know, we're going to watch it again, and I didn't want to hear a whole lot of plot questions. I wanted you to watch it. You knew where the movie was, what, what was happening, where it was going, and how it was going to end, and, you know, you would be okay with the subtitles on. Mm-hmm. Your first watch, tell me in a normal, s- slower <laughs> cadence... Don't mumble. Um, what did you think of the film the first time you saw it? Very action packed. Okay. Um, I just can't believe this dude would try to kill Flash Warrior and this green dude. Like that is terrible. You talking about Ming the Merciless? Yes. Okay, and pres- and um, gosh, I can't remember Timothy, Timothy Dalton. I was <laughs> just calling Timothy Dalton until I remember his name again. Uh, but you're talking about the guy who wore the green, the green outfit. Yes. Okay. I just, but I just can't believe that the guy wearing the your uniform oh, mm-hmm. was 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 trying to hurt them and like spikes popped up like that. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the Hawkman. Yes. The King of the Hawkman. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite? What was your favorite action part of the movie? It's probably. What we do? It's probably the. I don't really know. Like, okay. probably the part with the, um, I don't exactly know what was my favorite part. Did you like the part where he was playing football with all the guards? Yeah, that one yeah. I feel like was pretty funny. <laughs> that's my, that's daddy's favorite part. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about you, Jonas? You, uh, you who have a hard time getting out to sit down and watch anything past five minutes. <laughs> you got, you, you sat and watched this with us. What did you think of Flash Gordon the first time you saw it? Good. It was good? Okay. Lily, what was your least favorite part? My least favorite part was seeing the hawk dude's clothes. They look <laughs> very disturbing. Well, Wait, the hawk too much banana got naked? No one got naked, but I, I see what Lily's saying. The hawk men were you know, a little too much banana hammock for you. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, I, 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 I like, only got it naked? It kind of almost reminds me of a scene from a show I watched. This, he was wearing a bathing suit that didn't have that cover didn't cover up a lot of himself. That kind of reminded me of that. So there's a there, there's, there's a fair amount of kissing in this movie. I know you, you struggle with that. Uh, were you okay with it this time, or you were like, yuck, I move mean, on? It was a little, I felt a little okay. Mm-hmm. I looked away part of the time for it, but okay. it still felt the same to me. Hey, Daddy? Yes? You were, wa- when you just said that nobody got naked, you were lying. No one was fully naked in the movie. There's a part where they're trying to, ex- well, they're trying to execute Flash Gordon, and he's just wearing shorts. Is that what you're talking about? No, it's this. Um, Flash Gordon had to change his clothes. Oh, yeah. Okay, when, all right. Well, well, you can point that scene out to me when it comes up again. I know which one you're talking about now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the movie. For those of you following along, um, we're about 25 seconds into it, and the Universal logo has started. Three, two, one, at 25 seconds, and press play. All right. Universal Movie Studios, in connection with NBC. I kind of like it when they do the bum 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 yeah. for the Universal thing. It's funny. There are a lot less movie studios than there used to be. Okay. That's now that's the old one right there. See wow. how grainy it, it, it is. It looks so old. It is. Is that supposed to be like copper or something? <sighs> Maybe, or just kind of old gold. Or well, it could be this old. Why do I feel like this is almost like Star Wars? Um, In a way to me. Well, oh. you got to remember, so we start what? off with 
Ming and, and Clytus, uh, you only hear their voices off camera, and they are putting crosshairs on the planet Earth, and Ming talks about wanting to mess with the planet because he's bored. I'm bored, Clytus. That sounds like Jarvis' favorite word. <laughs> um, so, you gotta remember, Star Wars, stop. So you gotta remember, Star Wars came out in 1976, uh, 77 rather. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was such a big hit that there was a lot of rushing to the studios to try to capitalize on the fame of Star Wars by doing stuff like it. So I would imagine, you know, Flash Gordon being a known property since the 30s in the funny pages like we talked about, they just tripped over themselves trying to get this thing in the theaters, figuring it would be as popular, if not more, than Star Wars. Okay. Well, now we could Flash Gordon. Oh, we- <laughs> Oasis is going to blow up. Oasis isn't going to make me deaf. <laughs> yes. You are correct, Jonas. There's no sound here. It's not going to make me deaf. Away! Okay, terrific. Okay, let's do the down one. So, we, uh, over the credits here, we see Ming uh, doing various oh, natural attacks, whether... Weather attacks like on the hurricane. planet. A hurricane, that's right. I think the other one he pressed was earthquake. Yeah. Oh, I'm a monkey. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't a monkey. That, that's Ming the Merciless. Well, seriously, yeah, he does look like a monkey in that version. He did kind of look like and a monkey. He's a little hunched over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what they're showing... Uh, Prince cool. Baron, that's who the... So Voltan was the, was the hawk man. Um... In the banana hammock that you uh, were uncomfortable with. Right. <laughs> and Baron was the guy in the green. The guy who looked like the mon- a monkey to what us okay, was was this. His name was Teenage Milton Ninja Monkeys. Terrific. <laughs> Terrific. That's it. You gonna, are you going to add that to your type five, to your uh, to your stand-up performance? <laughs> it's not. Type five? When you're a stand-up comedian, Jonas, in the beginning they don't give you a half an hour or an hour to do comedy. You only have three to five minutes. So it's, it's known as your tight five. So do you mean me on me right monkeys? now? No, 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 no. I'm saying if you ever become like a stand-up comedian, right? In the beginning, you're only going to have a five. You're only going to have five minutes of stage time at a time. So you have to develop a tight five. I like how in the beginning they start out with all these natural disasters, and then they partly go to like comic book strips. Like that's yes, I like that. These are flashes of what was in the comic strips in the, I would assume comic books. Back in the day, where it all got started with Flash Gordon. I just saw the Hawk people. How, oh, much, how much Queen have I played for you, Lily? Uh, I don't really remember how much. Mm-hmm. I remember, I think I heard one mm-hmm. song. Did you like the music in the movie? Yeah, I thought it was kind of good. I like Daddy? Good. Yeah. Um, it's like, that was horse. That's a good podcast, buddy. Hot oh, I know. Okay. Hot hail. Hot hail. This is where yes. we meet Flash Gordon. I... It's this. I didn't know how hell was even a thing. I thought it was just called. Yeah. Earth. I mean, I, it's not a common occurrence. <laughs> All right. So yes, here we meet Flash Gordon. He's uh, reading the paper. Gordon. Daily news. Spit it out. It's this. Um, I want after this. I want to know what the like two D movie looks like. All I'm talking about is there's not a lot. You're talking about like a cartoon Flash Gordon? Yeah. Okay, we can maybe find some for you. I'm just glad there's not a lot of glass breaking in this. Wait, what? Remember remember that night when we watched the guy get... The Babadook? What are you talking about? (laughs) I'm talking about at wrestling when this guy fell on his back on the glass. Oh. I'm just happy about that during this scene. You don't like guys falling through rope? Oh, you're, you're talking about like the death matches? Like guys falling through broken glass and stuff? Yeah, the NXT thing. Oh. When did the, with f- the one around the cars. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just glad to talk about gl- glass breaking because that freaks me out. Really? Yeah. Look, imagine if you got a shirt in your arm and you started bleeding. That would freak me out. Of okay. course, he got one in his butt. Yes, glass in the butt never never goes well. All right, so Flash Gordon Sorry, has got... we had to talk about that, folks. <laughs> Uh, so Flash Gordon's gotten on a plane, it's a little little puddle jumper. Why, why does it look like a van? Why does it look like a van when you're inside of it, but outside of it? It's, it's, a, like it's a just plane. a small plane. It's a little puddle jumper, like I was saying. Oh no! 
Explosions! Why do they look? Why do the? Why does the hot heel kind of look like tiny little meteor lakes or like metal coming out? It looks like. Because they do. So okay, uh, so we're on a plane, and we're with Flash Gordon. He's met Dale Arden, our our titular uh, female lead, and which they're... is my favorite. I like all the girl characters. Of course you do. Mine is the princess girl. So, well, there's only two female characters in the darn thing. No, there's the girl in the black suit who whips. Oh yeah, okay. I don't like those two. Okay, so I of the like three the of the three main cast members that are female, you like the one, and you and she like the hero. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> she's seen because she's not like crazy like the, the other two. The and she just seems more better than me. You can't see, I think you can sometimes see some girl characters in the movie, but not even a part of the movie. Okay. That is a thing. I, I, yes, sir. So, alright, we have uh, Flash here on the plane with Dale Arden, just the two of them, in this little puddle jumper of a plane. Uh, there, There's some turbulence because of the hot hail and whatnot. Woohoo! Um, yeah. But, you know, they're talking, they're getting to know each other. Dale's a bit anxious being on the plane. Like, you Everyone would... is. Everyone is. Mm-hmm. When they first time on a plane. Listen, I don't think this is their first time. I know, but everyone gets anxious once or twice on a plane. Fair enough. <laughs> Especially if you're hitting some turbulence. That's bad. That gets you anxious. Yeah. I well, I think he tries to explain to her that, like, the turbulence is normal, but they don't know that Ming is out there, which is part of the problem. Ah. Uh. Woo! We should have fun instead of just watching a movie. All right. Um, so the skies have dark and dread, like you do. Why? <laughs> I feel like feel like if this was, I just saw black light. I just that was red lightning. lightning. <laughs> That's right. No, black lightning's oh, all yeah. the guy. But yes, that red lightning from the sky. Uh, dude, you're on fire! <laughs> you're on fire! Yes, we shift. <laughs> We shift over to Hans Zakharov's lab, which appears to be next to the Legion of Doom in the swamp. Um, <laughs> like, so why would someone have a, a like a chemistry lab or something? Well, let's inside? let's if you're doing work out in the you know let's say like like in Swamp Thing, which you never watched, uh, there was a lab that was right out there on the bayou because Asian that was where all the work was being done. I don't feel like the Green Dupes kind of live in there. No, he lives on another planet. I know, but it looks like it lives in there because of all the greenery in there. Yes. Just it, just there's a lot more greenery on his planet than there is. I like how they dreamed all his. Hey, Daddy. Yes. I actually watched the scene Vanessa. where they drained it all that one guy's memory. Yeah, and you remember that scene? No, I actually watched it two times already. Oh yeah, where did you? Where else did you see it? Probably oh. from a video he watched. No, this is where I came from. This. Okay. Um, one day I want to ask you a question, and mm-hmm. then I walk back by someone and see what's going on, and it turns out, and I saw the thing when he was dreaming the memory. Oh, okay. So another time that I've been watching it. All right, so we hear uh, Han Zakharf, our, ah. thir- our third lead in this space tale, and uh, oh, he's okay. talking about how, like, yeah, there's some news reports talking about how he was shamed out of NASA, and everyone thinks he's a kook. I actually like, went to NASA. Whoa, whoa. So, uh, but now he, you know, you know, they're, they, he knows that they're being attacked by some alien entity. He doesn't know what yet. So he's vindicated, and he's all excited because he's built this like very small rocket capsule to blast off out of his lab <laughs> into space, and he's trying to get Munson, who is his. His lab he almost assistant. got burned. He almost got burned because of one of the hot hail so, things threw on his blanket. So even as a kid, I struggled with this scene because, like, yeah, like, why is he pulling a gun on him? Where did the gun come from? Dude. You know, here we are doing science and sciencey things. Dude. It's like, let me just walk around with a six shot, Not just in, in a, case. Never in a million years would I, if I was a scientist, never in a million years would I bring Just that. happen to have a gun on you? <laughs> yeah, like, like you that, do. <laughs> way to get this horrible scene. <gasps> like, okay, like, That's what way, to, way to get this horrible scene even horribler. Cause, like, horribler? <laughs> I don't know what I said. More <laughs> horrible. Yeah. So like and they're already like they're already like getting oh, shit. you're already getting hit by hail. 
That freaks me out. Did you not notice that the first time? Yeah, I did, but it freaked me out. Okay. Yeah, so Ming, like, astral projected himself <laughs> onto the plane, grabbed the pilots, and they went, Wee! It sure says Flash on it. Flash Gordon. Yeah. Well, if you were a famous football player, wouldn't you wear your name on your shirt? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they call him Flash Gordon again? Because he runs fast. And they basically should have called him Flash. Well, his last name is Gordon. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I just have so many questions. I mean, what do you want to call him, Steve? <laughs> but now I feel like he's like copying Flash, or like he's a cousin of Flash. The, as in The Flash? Yeah, the superhero Flash. You know, you can more than one person can have the same nickname or name or whatever. Uh, anyway, so Flash has, so the pilots have gone out the window, courtesy of Ming the Merciless. Holographic himself into there and pulled him. Yes. So, just as Munson is trying to make a break for it, this is really funny, actually. Why would you? Why would you do that? Why do would you do that? He's just, he doesn't want to get hurt. He's already almost about to get hurt by this but random Zon storm, and now you're trying to hurt him back. No, he's just he's trying to get him into the capsule because he can't fly it by himself, and he doesn't know that a plane's about to crash into his lab. Mm. He's he's all alone out there. Look how happy he is. You're back, Munson. Be, Munson's be having good. a bad day at the office. I feel very bad for him. Like if he gets <laughs> hurt, and I'm just I just hope he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't get it's hurt. the end of Munson. Yeah, it is the end of Munson. Generally speaking, when you're hit, I just hope when he's not. I just hope he's not hurt. He was run over by a plane. I, 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 I thought he like went to the side. No, he just dove straight down, and the plane <laughs> rolled over him. Okay, that's just so why look at that is just a dumb thing to do. And they're gonna completely ignore it by the way. Like no one's gonna mention anything. He's he's just there. Okay, that's just sad. I'll oh, help him. Sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go help him. Yeah, it was one of those things where it was like, yeah, so we killed Munson, but he's not really a part of this anyway, so we'll just move on. We can't even see him underneath the plane. Oh my god. Maybe he maybe while they were filming those two at first that he just like crawled away. Maybe. Maybe he's, like, hiding in the it's, debris. It's all the angles. Angles to make it look like he got ran over. Yeah. But, you, then, he, but then during a different scene... He's I, like I mean, you might away. be right, because we really don't know. Looks like an eclipse. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a good Mario voice. Looks <laughs> like an eclipse. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> so, this kid loves Mario. So he is going to now try to trick Dale Arden and Flash Gordon onto the capsule. He only needs one of them, though. And he doesn't Which want to... is Flash Gordon, but he's... No, he wants Dale. But what? He doesn't... You right. You got to remember, you know, you're, tra you're, you're, you're hurling yourself in, uh, out of the atmosphere into space. So there's a lot of math that goes into this. Uh, you know, force and weight and uh, all kinds of other variables. So his thing is, I only need one of you. I'm going to take the lighter one. And Dale Arden would be... Less heavy than Flash Gordon. Well, that's kind of rude to say to Flash Gordon, because that means he's very, that means he's a little bit heavy. He's a football player. I know. And a dude. Means, I know, but that seems so, I just See, feel he's like explaining it. He's like, I only need one person to put their foot on the pedal, because apparently this is, this thing is like a bike. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do they just took yeah, it on a bike and put it in it? <laughs> Um, at least he's going to come out along with them, at least. Uh, <laughs> fighting scene. going in. Punch! See, that's the trick. <laughs> and that's the trick to making movies. Never let your movie go too long without an action sequence. I just saw him hit him with a gun. Yeah, he smacked him on the back of the head. Okay, the thing I most likely like is when girls start fighting a random dude. Like, they just like... <laughs> like, I love... I like it when they do that. <laughs> Uh, well, Zarkov's head went into the liftoff button. <laughs> so, here we go. Well, Mexico! Yep, here we go to Mexico. Yeah, they're actually going to go into Mexico. No, they're actually they're going into space. <laughs> space Mexico. It's like, no, it's Space X ago. X ago? Okay. <laughs> That's how. For God's sakes, strap yourselves down <laughs> quick! Daddy says that. <laughs> Yeah, he says that when he wants you to put your darn seatbelts on in the car. <laughs> For God's sake! Did they, did they seriously just... Did he just took apart a backpack to put it in there? He, like, well, he had been packing there. throughout that whole scene with Munson. Oh, yeah, right. <gasps> Wait, I think I saw a line when they said toothbrush in there. Yes, he's, they told Munson to get his toothbrush. 
And Munson said, I'm not going up in that. And then he got ran over. I would be terrified myself, so. <laughs> friendship. Built this to send in friendship. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I love that line. That's weird. The end now. Unless we three can... Dot, dot, dot. Hey. That's ellipsis, I think. Um, Daddy? Ellipsis. What? Yesterday, a knife on the saw foot hit my toe. Terrific. <laughs> All right. Well, you they, don't care about the saw rocket. You have a it, toe. You still have your toe, don't you? You're fine. Sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. That's. I mean, the force of being thrusted through the atmosphere into space is will, you know, None knock you even, out. The weird thing is, they start going to the plants and are not even wearing any space suits. Yes. That that's it was. It was 1980. Crazy. Nobody knew nothing. It's fantasy. It's a space opera. I know, opera. I know, but that is crazy if this was real life. Someone goes up to the space, they jump on a planet without Well, this isn't Flash space. Gordon, the documentary. This is Flash Gordon, the space opera. You know, Donald Duck was able to believe in space. Yes, but he's a fictional character. And a cartoon. This awesome. is not a cartoon. This is live action. No, he isn't. You'll see him at Disney World. That's because someone's wearing a costume. I knew that. And you're never going to get this kind of commentary anywhere else, folks, where you can hear two <laughs> elementary school children arguing over whether or not Donald Duck exists. <laughs> well, he is a very funny character. Move on. He kind of exists. I want glasses okay, like those. Yeah, those Why? Awesome Why in the world would you have those? They look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they look like virtual reality goggles, but in smaller version. That's how you that, play Blood This is a really cool scene, right? Like, it looks like art. It looks like art. That's how you play a Call virtual the reality like game. Those glasses make... Uh, you play a game of virtual reality, and if the game is not like, pixelated, it makes it pixelated. Okay. I like all that. I liked all that. When we got to see the outside of the spaceship, I like. I liked how we saw all and like that. going through like the black hole, yeah, which kind of looks like a screensaver. No, it kind of <laughs> looks more like art because mm-hmm. it kind of looks more of in like a little art because they're all. Like, You're going to the there. underworld. All right. <laughs> they are now landing it's on fine. Ming the Merciless's pa- uh, that is planet. a tall castle. Yes, it's a it's a very big palace. All right. Wake up, people! Wake up! Ooh, whoa! Really Ooh. nice how they are sweeping. Yeah, it was only a few hours. Because you know that is a lot of gold space. on them. That's a lot of gold on them. <laughs> and a lot of butt on them. <laughs> a lot of butt too. This there was a lot of butt in that scene in the frame. Yes. All right. So we see Ming's army approaching the ship that just crashed on their planet. They're like, we're going to investigate you. <laughs> How about you like, flip football with them now? The oh, they're not there yet. Okay, but the way that will make it even funnier is if he said, I am Flash Gordon and my friends, we come in peace. He always says, hello, we're from Earth. And he says, friends, and shot those. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately tased. <laughs> <laughs> but really, seriously, if he did say we uh, we are, me. I I am Flash Gordon and need some of my friends. We come in peace. That would have been. I, I don't think it would have mattered. <laughs> I know, but that would have been more funny to me. <laughs> Whoever they are, they're highly Ooh. developed. I'm sure we can reason with them. Meanwhile, this army is made of like soldiers with skull masks Ooh, on. Holy cow, that's freaking me out. <laughs> Whoa, watch oh. it! Don't push a woman. <laughs> One of the fa- one of the masks had the face of a Roblox skeleton. It had the face of a Roblox. So I like how they're they're, they're talking. They're just like spitballing about what the, how this how the society may have developed. Zarkov suggests it might be a police state, and that's a good thing, which I think is hilarious. I don't like how they're pushing the girl. Awesome. Maybe she should walk faster. No one touches a woman unless they unless she says yes to that. Okay. Hmm. She should also walk faster. How is she supposed? How can she walk fast? She's terrified right now. Ah, the lizard man. Ah! Mr. Lizard. Escape is impossible. Surrender. Never. And, and goodbye. <laughs> okay, that's just that's just terrifying. Imagine so. Imagine like you're the actor who got that part. And you're like, what are you doing? I don't like the cushion. Fine, stop making so much noise. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you want to like, reason with you. Like, like. <laughs> So Zarkov says he still has his six shot in the pocket. I don't think he actually used any bullets. He, he didn't. He didn't. He just hold it up. Mm-hmm. He just hold it up like really and shit. <laughs> this character's name is Globe. Globe. <laughs> and goodbye, guys. And the gun's gone. <laughs> Yay! Pretty amazing. Yay! <laughs> uh, all right, now we are up to. That is a the- lot of color there. What is with this whole place in gold? All right, so you got to remember. Ming- oh, great. Here we go. I'm going to cover my eyes. The hot the- people. Ming conquered a whole bunch of other worlds. And uh, and so as part of now they're part of Ming's empire. So every year they have to pay tribute, but it's different civilizations. Okay. I'm covering my eyes right now. Oh, knock it off. What? I said it. It's definitely too weird. What? <laughs> Sorry, my butt was winning out. <laughs> All right, we got it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, no more about that. There he is, and our villain. Dun, dun, dun. Max Van Saito. Why do we the look like that? Why does he look like a Jafar, but on a yeah. planet? He looks like Jafar to me. Well, yeah. is, is he a hero or a villain? A villain. <laughs> was Jafar a hero or a villain? Villain. <laughs> did, did Jafar look like a villain? Yes. That's your answer. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's what happened after he got after he got stuck in the whale. Somebody that's freed him that he flew to this planet. I thought, girl, she can't. That's what planet. happened. That was a that was a uh, Aurora, Allura, whatever. No, no, no. There was a girl that looked like a mermaid. Oh, uh, a different girl. Yeah, it wasn't the main character. I think I some saw her and characters she in or in bikinis or whatever they're called. Mm-hmm. You don't see that because suddenly. And so here we are establishing that Prince Baron's people and the Hawk people of uh, uh, and the Hawk people under Volton are natural enemies. I just I, this guy said a liar. He's a thief. I just saw that. <laughs> That's a great line. I know. Nobody, but no one dies in the palace without a command from the emperor. What the. No one should die at all. Like that's bad. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta when when you gotta be a strong boss. I wonder how if I was a boss, I wouldn't have anyone now. <laughs> wonder how the podcast is going to turn out. It'll be fine, if, especially if you keep talking about it. <laughs> okay, Yay. or you'll sacrifice your daughter. Look at this. Little what? pink wings. Look at the adorable pink wings. Me. That's me. That's me. Oh yeah, that, girl's, You're that, part- girl, that little girl's me. <laughs> You, you, you're you're one of the hawk people? Is that no, cool? but that little girl's me because she's pink. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, is that she, guy talking? Okay, I don't know was why. the guy who was just talking a robot with the guy in gold? You're talking about the little globe thing that's been flying around? Yes, it's a robot. I don't know why, but the um, but the little girl is more of a devil angel, and then the hawk people look like okay. a hawk well, She angel. has <laughs> literally no more further appearances in this movie. I know, but that one time I saw No, her, she the guy talking like Dale. What about him? He looks like a robot. I think it's he's kind of like Destro from G.I. Joe, where he's a dude, but his face is all meh, so he has a mask. So he's not a robot, he's a dude. I don't know why, but every time I'm just looking at other characters that don't have anything to do with it, and I'm just seeing these tiny little people in ki- almost like giant kimonos. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, sit down, dude. <laughs> Ow. That hurt my touch. And... So he's trying to fool Ming into thinking that he's going to kill himself with a sword like Ming and wanted. And there's Globe again. Zap. <laughs> zap. And zap. <laughs> I said it at the wrong timing, so I was like, and... Zap. zap. <laughs> so, yes. So this oh, dude God. whose kingdom was blasted and didn't have a tribute, and Ming was like, well, great, kill yourself, tribute enough. And so yeah, he says he's going to do it, but he was trying to trick Ming, and he was trying to get him with a sword. And it didn't work. I hate how these aliens have blue penis? blood. That's very disturbing. Did he just stab his penis? No, he got him in the gut. Oh, and then the dude looks like Richard Pryor. <laughs> this Ming is a psycho. All right, here we go. We're getting up to the best part of the movie. It's all downhill after this. Oh, great. Football play. Football, oh, yes. In your face. That's right. <laughs> I love. I love this scene actually. Oh, 
Well, okay. <laughs> yep. See, that was it. Look what? Me. It looks. It, She's wearing an eeny beeny teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Yeah, but it's disturbing. I like it. <laughs> I don't like it when. Look at these chicks in the back. Oh my god! Look at that. I, don't I know. hate. I hate. I hate when people are wearing clothes that don't cover a lot of their body. You're very I modest, love it. is what you're saying. You like yeah. modesty is the best policy. Yeah, I okay. like it. I'm sure you do, Hornball. <laughs> Where are your glasses, by the way? No. Go get your glasses. No, no. Go get your glasses. <laughs> Whenever the the tiny little red the 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 red Let them out. the red okay the red um pet that I always thought was just another alien um he kind of looks like one of those kimono wearing aliens that we only barely see just different. I think it's a, just an underdeveloped human being. I don't think yeah. it's like like an animal. What? You said it was a pet dog. Well, it was a pet. She got him on a leash. Or oh, maybe it's just a wild kid and she wants to keep him intact. Man, never put children on a leash. <laughs> I went like this because I thought, because I'm glad you would never do that to me. No. Like Mommy that. and I saw other people put their children on leashes at Disney and whatnot. We were not fans. I see some kids wear like backpacks with leashes and then they just walk around. <laughs> yeah, still not a good thing. Not you. All right, so here, here we go with the next uncomfortable scene of the movie. Uh, so geez, this no next, way. so <laughs> this next part, your it was one of the reasons your mom didn't want me to show you this movie. Why? Well, watch. This is the part where he mind controls Dale Arden. That's just okay. That's just wrong. Why do people always take the woman? I hate that in movies. <laughs> I hate how they. Always Why do you hate take... that? What what bothers you about it? Because the, then the girls end up getting them the most. You don't dangerous. have to yell. I'm sorry, but just but then the girls end up getting in the most danger. And this looks they like they end up having to save this themselves. Like she, okay, this, but I just hate that. This is what it looks like. Yeah, yes, it's. I mean, there. It, it's very. We'll we'll go ahead and use the word sexual here, um, which I which I can see why that would, would make someone uncomfortable. Yes, but, now tell Plus, she's a woman. Why would you take a woman? Well, he's now a dude. Dudes like women. Some dudes. Now. <laughs> not me. I don't want to take anyone at this thing. That's good. You're nine. I know, but as soon as I'm older, I'm just going to stay now away from a lot. Now she's really a tummy because she's really hungry. <laughs> Until I'm, like, out of college, I'm going to look for guys. Okay, thanks. The rest of my school year. All right. All right. <laughs> I only have a goal for you. Prepare her for okay, our pleasure. Well, well, so, <laughs> well, I love this scene, and I love what they do with it, but for all practical purposes, I don't know why this group of guards are dressed this way. They look like, they look like ninjas. They look like football players, which is oh, kind yeah, of the right. point of this <laughs> next bit. And right. I like in that scene, actually. All right, so, they look like, ooh, ooh, these kids they, so like a half a dozen guys can't take Flash Gordon down. They're just beating on them. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like half ninja, half like football players right yes. now. Oh, whoa. <gasps> Ooh, that was hot. Is that wow? All flash? right, so Zarkov just threw Flash Gordon what looked like to be a metal watermelon. Oh and he's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Stabbed in the butt. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> the well, we get the well baby to stab in the I butt. love the people around, <laughs> just standing around watching this. This is high entertainment. But occasionally, like, Voltan tripped a guy. The little short dude stabbed him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable when they stab him in the butt. That's cute. Like, I missed that team. They tried to stab you in the butt. Yank. So with through the power of football, Flash can take on a dozen guys, and you know, and I <laughs> clunk. <laughs> I like that guy. Looks, um, when the hot people looks like Rocky, when if he actually got Afro, then he washed all of his teeth. Okay. All right. So uh, so so Clyde has just had to explain to his men that he's playing a game, so you have to match him. And his entire description of football, his entire description of what's happening here was to crouch. That's it. <laughs> That's football, everybody. <laughs> the system of crouches. <laughs> and again with that. <laughs> All right. So now Flash has got a rhythm going. They're tossing him these metal uh, metal watermelons. 
and it's going all very, very well, except that Zarkov goes a little crazy, and doink! <laughs> right in the head. Go on the oh, couch, get my phone. Get my phone. Uh, uh, Yes, mask or I feel like I just saw someone look like they're in a yeah, funeral. Walk like I saw some characters wearing black and white clothing. Don't kill him yet, Father. <laughs> Give him to me. Yes. Okay, that feels very uncomfortable. Where too. is the phone? Uh, look on the couch. Mood blanket. Okay, that girl is very disturbing to me. <gasps> yeah. A little too, uh... A little too sexy for you, a little too... Yes, that's, yes that's, very, that's very inappropriate for me. It's, I'm very young. I didn't see this scene. Hey, you want me to turn the movie off? No, I want to continue this with you. I want to continue this okay. with you. Okay, you keep watching for a second? Let me... Oh, no, I hate this scene. I Guys, this. he's going to put him in acid gas. I yes, hate. he's going to execute him. I hate uh, this scene. I really do hate this scene. Yeah, this next part's really slow. And also very disturbing for me. Not this scene, but the scene where the Flash Boy is inside that chair and he gets executed. That's actually that's kind of cool. That's, that's kind of disturbing for me. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Then after a few minutes, we find him in the coffin. Not freaks me out. Mm-hmm. Kick, 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 kick. Stop. Kick. <sighs> So what we're looking at here is um, Aurora and Prince Baron. Wait, Aurora from Prince from Beauty and I believe that's her name. Yeah, and I think it is. Uh, Aura, it? Aura. Princess Aura. Aww. It would have been funny if her name was actually Aurora, and I called it. Wait, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Princess Aura. Yes, you don't look well, and I'm told you refused your final meal. Seems like daddy at work. Why are there spikes coming out of it? Because they don't want him to escape. They don't want to take the helmet off. That's freaky. So, uh, so Flash is currently... (laughs) It's not going to help him. Who's that shadow? Nobody in particular. What is... Is she wearing red? She's been prepared for Ming's pleasure. What is with everyone wearing red? <laughs> oh, He's wild again. It's 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 an aesthetic. It's a color palette they chose for this movie to give it pop. Okay. Well, red is kind of one of my favorite colors. What in the? <laughs> That's it's, crazy. It's everything How here we... is kooky. So, 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 so sands run up in, hey, a, in an hourglass. It's fine. No, <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Though. Was trying to make fun of Star Wars. Yes. What if this movie is trying to make, make fun of Spaceballs? Well, considering Spaceballs didn't come out until many years later, uh, there wasn't a movie to make fun of. Oh. But now it does. Okay, well, they're not going to retroactively the... remake this movie just to make fun of Spaceballs. What, in the Carmen San Diego? And the next thing is, they're going to make a movie to make fun of Flash Gordon. Maybe. <laughs> that, that's entirely what possible. What in the San Diego? I just saw a snake. I just saw snakes with ice inside their mouth. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're all manner of weird creatures in this movie. Oh, yay! Oh. You're going to hurt yourself. Sit down. <laughs> I'll try to exercise. Exercise on the floor, then. Sorry. So when you fall, it hurts less. And time is almost up. Time's up. Do, 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 do. Time's up. That means we don't have to watch the movie I won't. again. Yeah. Okay. Still got a long it ways to go. It won't turn over. It won't turn yeah. over. Yes. The Melody, whatever her name is, is quite the actress. Over actress. It won't turn over. It won't turn over. And now we're stepping into a black outfit. Well, sure. They're about to execute a dude. But why does that... Why did Princess Aura look like... She was Cleopatra for a second in that outfit. <laughs> oh, and the, and the when you first see her? No, no, the second time we see her in this part. Oh, so you think she's she, Cleopatra like, now? I want to see something about your death. She looks like Cleopatra, Cleopatra just wearing black. Moment clip. Here I go undo it. I can't hear you. No, I'm sorry. We're kind of like not really paying attention to the movie really well. So, Lily, Flash Gordon is in his short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Ooh, short as, shorts. As, 
as being an almost as being in a fashion Wait. to me this is kind Ooh. of like an inappropriate fashion don't know <laughs> yes there's a, there's a fashion known to just walk out in your leather shorts yes <laughs> All right, they are leading. I hate this executing scene. They are leading Flash Gordon into the gas chamber. I'm glad that the, I, I'm glad we don't have that in real life. What gas chambers? We certainly do. What? What? Yes, when you when you execute somebody who gets the death penalty for committing a, an egregious, a heinous crime like murder, uh, they can be executed via gas chamber or a lethal injection. There's a couple of other little ways you can do it, but those are the two most common. Dad, you're gonna give me nightmares. Are you planning on committing an, an, a heinous crime? No. Well, then I wouldn't worry about it. Also, it takes a long time to execute somebody in this country. A long time. Huh. And you can hear more of these kinds of insights. No, you can't. We don't talk it's about this stuff. It's Great, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Flash is in the chair now. Now kick He's somebody. getting the chair. <laughs> now kick somebody's private. He can't. He's chained up, Jonas. <laughs> Oh Alright, he's gonna get a shot here from the doctor so Ooh. that uh He doesn't feel anything. I, I believe it was meant to protect him from the gas. That looks like a robot. So he'll so essentially he doesn't die here. He just falls unconscious, is my understanding. Or he's so or, or it's so close to death, but not totally, that he can be revived later. I don't know why, but when but when they were, when that dude was like beating on the drum, he, that looks like a robot was beating that bump. Bump. <laughs> I'm going to climb up, up. I'm going to climb up. My dad, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Dude, careful. I'm not scared. No. 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 And she faints. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like a woman, she faints. <laughs> like, yeah, well, she's going to kick butt. Soon she's going to kick butt. I Soon know. she's going to kick butt. Now what, Jonas? I was about to fall off Mount Everest. Okay. Flash Garden Earthling, executed by Meng. That's his little uh, special tombstone they made Ugh. for him. Ugh. And are they going to pull it? <laughs> oh, shit, the boss is coming. Scatter. Uh, we have our third costume change of the evening from Princess Aura. And it's red and gold. Like you do. So she wants to bring him back, right? Because she wants him. I I know what she, you I know what she means. <laughs> she, I know what mirror? Aura likes. Why? Why? I know what Aura wants. Okay. I know what Aura likes. Yes. Aura likes. Aura likes. Flash. Stop it. Do 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 do. <laughs> I just realized there was a mirror in there, though. There is. How many people does she love? Like, well, oh, she doesn't love any of these people, but they suit. Her needs and purposes, and they're all thinking with the lower half of their body. So, <laughs> so that's the second time. She, that's that, that's the third time she kissed someone. Yes, she does it a lot in this movie. That's kind of weird. To hey, me. Sure. Two loves kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jonas. Flash Gordon is Cinderella. <laughs> no, not Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella's the one who lost her shoe. Uh, with a kiss because I like you. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, put this uniform on before the lizard men arrive. They call it lizard men? And so the whole purpose of having the mirror in this scene is for this reason. Oh my god. So that she can watch him undress from a from an askance camera angle. Oh, I missed it. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, what, they weren't going to show full on, like, you know, tushy. Ain't that kind of movie. You yeah. saw well, that would make me like barf all over. Rocky guys. was different. You saw them his button Rocky. And you did see his button Rocky. This is not Rocky. You yeah, want to keep it but as it's a technically little similar bit. to it. To me, you want to you, keep it a little appropriate. So, in your mind, Rocky and Flash Gordon are more or less the same movie. Yeah. Terrific. Terrific. Yay! They're going to drain all his memory. Yep. They're going to him amnesia. The amnesia space version. So we get some. So we actually get some exposition here. Uh, Ming talks about every thousand years he tests the planet. Uh, I visit it with mystery, earthquakes, unpredicted eclipses, strange craters in the wilderness. 
Earthquakes is Earth, eclipses are also Earth. I if these like... are taken as natural, I judge that system ignorant and harmless, and I spare it. So if they hadn't reacted, he the, none of the, he would have just left it alone. But if the hand of Ming is recognized in these events, okay, this one's I judge that. Kind of shut like up! I judge that system to be dangerous, and I I call upon the great god Dyson, and for his greater glory. In our mutual pleasure, well, that comes up a lot. Uh, he died. I destroy it utterly. So that's the point of the movie, right there. He just said he happened to come across a mostly harmless he he planet named Earth, and he threw some stuff at it. And because Zarkov reacted, he knows the planet has to go now. It's too dangerous. But if no one reacted and they just thought it was natural phenomena. He'd have left it alone. When we go through his memory, I feel kind of bad for this guy. Yeah, he's had some rough stuff happen to him. Maybe that's why he's walking around a lab with a six shot. <laughs> what, Jonas? Oh, I... I know I like when he said this. He said, I spend my whole life trying to fill it. Yes. It's a good line. You can't empty my mind. I spent my entire life trying to fill it. Now, this my mind is all I have. There it is. There's your line. I spent my whole life trying to fill it. All right. And there's the mind wipe wave. Wait. Was he with Shane Dale? Okay, yes. He yes, was. he is strapped to the table. So this is him and Munson. Kind of like fight. <laughs> okay, this is him at NASA, presumably. NASA. Wait, a dinosaur, a tiger? Yeah, some of this is very, like, surreal. So... You can so the way they did this scene is they have Zarkov strapped to this machine, but then they have a uh, like a TV that apparently captures all these memories that they're wiping out. So this was like his wife like falling in a pool and dying somehow. How? I, she apparently she couldn't swim, and everyone couldn't get out of the pool fast enough. What is a monkey? Uh, because space monkeys. So we see World War Two and Hitler and the Holocaust and all of that. And this guy apparently was Hans Zarkov, uh, Jewish man, Jewish heritage. Yeah, this guy was long alive. Well, I mean, yeah, this was also 1980. <laughs> Do you think this would have been more boring if it was all black and white? If this movie was all black and white, would it be boring? I don't know. Some people would tell you that black and black and white doesn't make a difference. I mean, Casablanca is one of the most famous movies in history, and it's black and white. People love it. I like color movies. Yeah, like, well, and, it's like, 2020 and you're nine, so. Oh, like, I Jap- see blood like, cells. Ja- like Japanese anime. And I anime think I just saw the vlog. Like, I love Japanese anime. It's so like, oh, look at this dude. It has his face. Can you try not to talk over your sister? Wait till she's not talking. All right. So, Clytus gives Schmageggy instructions. Don't, don't put him over level three. And she's like, right, level three. Immediately disobeys and puts him on level five. Okay, that's, that's just me. (laughs) And women don't listen to men. Sorry, level six. (laughs) She doubles it. (laughs) (laughs) That was why they well, him. Why do you like... Okay, so let's talk about that, Jonas. Mm-hmm. Why do you like the mind wipe scene so much? <gasps> because you saw some pretty funny things there. Oh, okay. You liked all the flashing images? <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for him. He's going back He's going back to time where he, which he, that he wishes he didn't want to look at. Kind of like me. Some things I wish I had never seen. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And now we're back with Flash and R again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been over and over again. To my that one was a kiss of death. Now she has to do a kiss of love. None of this is love. What'd you get it's off him? It's all lust. <laughs> get off him. He's trying. Wait. She looks like she's wearing a football uniform, too. No, she's not wearing. She's wearing the same outfit she was wearing in the last scene. Oh. Wait for a second. <coughs> Can you not sit on him? This is weird. Right in the lap. Right in the lap. Okay. Well, Why? Was so, yeah, now be the kid. Why? Because you can barely keep it together, this one. She, this girl's crazy. I know what Aura wants. Oh I know what Aura likes. On my laptop. Terrific. I didn't see it coming. It doesn't matter. 
Oh, I almost won. Kiss it. My mm. worst enemy. <laughs> so she's trying to seduce Flash. In what does that team. mean? Distract him with love and affection. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? I am not. the ground. Okay. Um, I am not. All right, scene's over. Hey! This isn't much better, though. Like I said, there's a long stretch of this movie that's all, like, sexy time and yeah, but very this slow. One, at least this one has, like, her in it. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting editing choice because it's like, they bring Flash back to life, and then there's the scene with Zarkov, and that's, that's not the real action, and wow. but stuff's happening. Wow, look at her hair piece. That is a huge hair piece. Hey, Daddy. Oh, say, oh, oh hang, on, hang on, and I want to ask you about that. So, um, so... And then they cut, and then the next thing they cut to is Dale. So, like, another way of done, doing this would have been maybe to intercut these a little bit more, make it a little bit more dynamic. Instead, it's literally like, it's almost like book chapters. Like, here's Flash. Next chapter, Sarkov. Next chapter, Dale. You know, what's going on with each of these characters simultaneously? Now, they do mix up this scene with Flash and or Aura with Dale, but that's because they're going to start talking to each other using telepathy. Now, back over it's like to you, It's like the telepathy Lily. challenge in 2020. <laughs> so, what did you think of the fashion on the girls in that scene? Uh, it, uh, the giant hair piece. Uh, the hair pieces were good. They kind of remind me of Japan almost. Yeah, yeah? Hey, let's yeah. Ask my, hey Melissa! Yeah? Uh, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll call you in a second if I need you. But really, the hair pieces almost remind me of my version of, like, a Japan. What you think... What do you, what you think... Uh, Japan, women in Japan would wear? Only on, like, very special occasions. Sure. Well, I think they're just, like, walking around, you know. But that really did look like Getting a boba tea, putting a hairpiece on. Hey, Daddy, did you know in Japan, some Uh, kids were allowed to take a little nap? Good. You can go... Like, that's one Japan. How is it that her dress isn't dirty? No, no one did anything to her. No, They just got her drunk. but, like, since... Uh, the, like, She's the, laying in silk sheets. What was going to dirty her? No, because the, the the cup, I thought it still had a little bit inside of it and would have poured on her on accident. It's a really weird thing to focus on. Uh, I can focus... I focus on many things yeah, in I, the plot. Clearly. <laughs> no, you don't focus on the plot. You focus on everything else. Hey. <laughs> Hey, she she was wearing a very fashionable outfit that uh, I. Are you can... okay with it? You're okay with that outfit? Yes, it it, it, has, it covers her a little more. Okay, you don't think the cleavage is too low? Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe a uh, maybe a straight across yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. instead of a V. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> oh my god! The dead scene. The dead scene of Dune. Sorry. <laughs> So they're talking through telepathy. Meanwhile, Aura is, you know, grinding on uh, Flash Gordon, giving him kisses. Uh-huh. All right, and we're back to Dale again. Why does that just kind of remind me of Elsa's? Elsa. Elsa oh. had blue. I had a blue dress. And that one's like orange. Yeah, but it's a little similar to me because of the skirt. Does she look Japanese too. Yeah, kinda. Why yeah. is the top part? But the skirt remind the skirt reminds me of Elsa because she had that little like slit in there. She's trying to make her dress down. Yes, so she can escape. That is a very pretty cup. Looks like you cut, <laughs> look, your, look at looks that. Like you cut your face on it. <laughs> I like her face in this scene. She's like, bye bye. <laughs> Okay. All right, and then we're back to Zorkov again. Hello. Now, this uh, at this point, he is supposed to have been completely mind wiped and reprogrammed to be an Imperial agent. And now, the whole point of this entire scene is you're led to believe that he is going to be a double agent, and the tension coming out of that is, well, will he? Uh, is he on Flash's side or is he on Ming's side? And we'll find out as the movie progresses. But that is the whole point Whoa. there. Whoa. Hey. And that looks like an arena. <laughs> yeah, it's a Borea. It also looks like list? a Zupo. Is that where the green dude was? It looks like yes. a belly. It looks oh, like right. a non-ever-clean oh. Zupo for a giant. Why does this place look like in the scene with Star Wars? where, where Like this, Dagobah? Yeah, where, where this guy meets Yoda. Why does it look like that? Because <laughs> they decided to set this in a swamp. 
Okay? It looks like where Yoda Swamps went. tend to all look the same. It looks like where they met Yoda. Ter terrific, Lily. Yoda, wait a wait a wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, here comes Ming. He's trying to get some. Somewhat. We'll find out. It's gonna be surprised, like. <laughs> keep sweeping, just keep sweeping, just keep sweeping. Why is he wearing, like, a dress? He's wearing a robe. No, he just got out of his back. I know what Ming likes. I know what, what Ming likes. wants. That, because he just got out of his bath. He just got out of his bath. Well, Good. I mean, you know. And again, you, Mommy was concerned about this scene. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Nothing happens. Not to break up the tension here. There's, so what looks to be Dale is like covered in pillows. And Ming's like, Arr. and he suddenly realizes, ah, it's one of my slave girls. And just toss it to the side like trash. <laughs> like trash, I tell you. she tries to sneak out. Yep. And she takes off her shoes. She's wearing an outfit made of like beads, you know, uh, door beads. And... God, these guards are useless. <laughs> I know, they're just like walking and like... They look like well, look at what happens like here. Pale She's pale like... Hi! <sighs> He's about to get taken <laughs> out. This trained guard is about to be taken out by this chick in a cocktail dress. Like, she would have tripped over by now. Yes. And, uh, but, and, I just, but no, she is like... But I'll tell you, I'll, but here's the thing, and this is when this is goes to why you like her, right? Mm -hmm. She's not a do-nothing gal. She's able to do flips and cartwheels, and she's shooting guys. Right? That's what I like about many girls. Like, in a lot of my favorite movies, the girls are the heroes. Like, in my favorite anime right. shows I watch, the girls are the heroes. And right. She's not just guys. waiting. Oh, he's <laughs> his face <laughs> up. She's not just like, okay, I'm just going to here. She's not standing around waiting to be saved. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, she's not like, I'm just going to wait his here. His new weapon, the shoes. No, she like. Right. Go ahead, Jonas. Then her new weapons are her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> It would be a very girl thing to do to hit a guy with a high heel. A very fashionable weapon. <laughs> yes, a very fashionable weapon. Maybe you can throw it like a ninja star. And now she's like running and they're spying yep. on her. Yep. Oh, and now they're going to activate Zarkov. And we'll see, is Zarkov going to lead her down a gilded who, path? Or is Zarkov going to really save her? Well, we will find out. Who types like that? Boink, boink, boink. Well, those are really big buttons. Normally I would just like press like this. Boink, boink. Well, those are smaller buttons. <sighs> Oh, Dr. Zarkov. Oh, you a sight for sore eyes. Easy, girl. Rest a minute. I love what? this guy's accent. It's weird. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Know how? Know the best way to clap the loudest is to get your hands exactly like this. I'll let you know what the feedback on this show is. I think it's going to be, huh, your son didn't comment on anything having to do with the movie. <laughs> Basically, neither Joss and I are, like, talking about the movie. We're just talking about No, the you're movie. talking about the movie just fine. This one wanted to just give me a lecture on how to clap louder. <laughs> no, this is what I'm doing. I'm making funny jokes about the movie. Oh, okay. I'm trying to give doing. this thing more public. Yes. I also show you animation what isn't from the movie. Okay. So it's happening. I gotta look into the cast of this. I wanna see what 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 some of these actors went on to. Like her, Clytus' girl. I wanted to see what she went on to after this movie, if anything. Or if, or if this was like Star Wars and many of the actors and actresses did not have much of a career. I really need white shot, okay? To Paris and Ford. Okay. She looks she kinda looks like an older Aura, Princess Aura. Kinda. Aura has, Aura has more of an Asian features on her face. Oh, a treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This thing's kind of terrifying, almost. Well, this is kind of like the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk, uh, where everything is built up in the trees because on the ground there's too many predators to, you know, build a lasting civilization, so they built into the trees. Like, like a treehouse. Like a treehouse. It's a bee house. It's covered in bees. <laughs> That's why it's called... No, it's covered in vines. <laughs> no, it's a bee house. Okay. All right, now we're up to the would-be scene. I, I this, I'll tell that. you what, as a kid. Why does that dude look like he's stabbing his toe? He's banging on the ground with a stick. And nobody looks like he's banging his toe. They're like, I doubt don't he's... resist the pain. There's resist the would-be scene. Okay. He looks like he's doing that. <laughs> Great. So anyway, um, 
So now we're in. Uh, we're on Prince Baron's planet, which, which is, as we said out. before, looks like a damn swamp, or you know, sw- <coughs> swamp combined with Keshik, a forest planet. Um, we're at a scene where they're initiating a guy into the High Tribesmen, his- and so he's got to stick his hand in this wood stump. Oh my god, that's freaking uh, cool. And not get killed by the wood beast. This is freaking we'll me out. We'll see what happens. Now, this is setting up for what's going to happen a little I bit like later. That wood beast? It does cockroaches flying together and make a beast. No, it looks like a beetle combined with a scorpion. Yeah. Definitely has a scorpion look to it. Okay. So, anyway, so. This, this is, is freak me out. <laughs> this is a setup for what's going to happen later with Prince Baron and Flash Gordon. See? The art of filmmaking, folks, is that. You feature something, and then it pays off later in the movie. You just don't put things in there just to put them in there. And he thinks he's mad. He thinks he's got it. He's, ah! <laughs> so Daddy is a kid. Ew, that was a green slime. So as a kid, Daddy hated the scene. This is I the only part of play. Like, I don't, it doesn't bother me now, but as a kid, this was the only part of the scene I hated. The only part of the I movie hate, I hated. I hate the scene, too. It's, oh my god. And this is our second stabbing in the gut. <laughs> There's a lot of that in this movie. I hope that, does he have, why do I feel like different aliens have different blood types? They probably do, but that's probably true of all living things. You, you know, you kill, you kill certain animals, certain bugs, and they don't all be red. So, like, the black dude, he oh, has. more kissing. Ooh! Here we go. I timed it just right. Get you some, Prince Baron. Is it, are they still kissing? Now we're done now. Okay. That's so, amazing. Like, the black dude have blue blood. The that this these people have green blood. Like, yes. They're all color coded. I wonder what mine would have been <laughs> if I wasn't a human. I don't know, prob- probably plaid. Plaid? <laughs> Ew, plaid doesn't go with anything. <laughs> what is the color plaid? That's a mix. Sorry I had to talk about fashion back there. So, all right. So the whole point of this is that uh, they were supposed to go to Sithra, and Flash was like, "But I don't want to be on your pleasure planet." So she took him to she took him here for some odd reason. I can't remember why. Um, but she was like, "You know, I guess if you're here, we can figure out what to do next. If you don't want to go to Sithra, um, I, I think the idea here was that if they were going to fight against Ming." Baron would be a good ally, so bring him here to talk with Baron. And Baron's like, well, I'm jealous of you because Aura's giving you all this love and affection that I want, so instead I'll just throw you in the swamp. <laughs> where Yoda lives. What? Because for some reason the swamp area looks like where Yoda was. I hope every time maybe Yoda is supposed to eat him. Okay, Look, so now Zarkov is explaining it. that he didn't have his memory wiped. I started to recite Shakespeare, the Talmud, the formulas of Einstein, anything I could remember, even a song from the Beatles. It armored me, girl. They couldn't wipe those things away. And here come the Hawkmen. Oh, right. Here we go. <laughs> they come and I hate kill where they pick her up and put her on the table and she smashes stuff. <laughs> well, he also put her on like a lazy Susan and sputter around for a touch. That's just weird. <laughs> I don't think they use it much of anything. So, Flash is in prison again. This time uh, he's in pri- he's Prince Baron's prison. Prison, uh, and he's being lowered into the swamp where Yoda lives. <sighs> yes, where Lo- Yoda lives. So, hey, you know what? Um, they didn't use much of anything. In this okay, movie. that was just. That just looks like a really cool Oh, what do you mean by they didn't... I want to hear from Jonas. What do you mean they didn't use a lot of editing in this movie, Jonas? Well, because of this. They didn't use editing to make the wizard people actually look real. Because you mean CGI is oh, what oh my you're God. saying. You mean computer... Gener- you mean Not like this scene. Computer graphics, like they, they didn't make this... Was, you can clearly tell it's a costume is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Not this scene again. Because of... Because of only one thing. What? Um, the wizard person, the wizard people couldn't blink. I am honestly right now hoping that is body art. I don't think they're really beating her, Lily. I know, but I, I hate it when I see, I hate it when I see something red that is definitely not close. 
Ah! Oh, I don't even think they caught her actually making contact. Either they pulled the camera far back away that you couldn't tell if it actually hit her, and then and then the rest of it was either the camera was facing away from the action, but you could hear the snap of the of the whip, um, or she was stopped altogether from hitting her. So a lot of what you see on the back there was already done before we came into the scene. I know. So again, I just, they're not I, really beating the actress. I know. I just hope. I just, I'm just glad it it's gonna be just like body on. And why are they using hands to hold her down? It's an aesthetic in the movie. It's a choice. You know, costume design, set design, all of these things add up to a visually appealing or interesting experience for the viewer. And it's fun. Hands are fun. (laughs) That damned woman is using me again. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, he expects it's Manx Dodge. Keep playing your bloody pipes, fool. Why is there a snake on it? Because it looks cool. Oh. It kind of kind of looks like one of those tools you use to make like a perfect circle almost. Uh, uh, a protractor? Yeah. Right, so they're going to try to... Well, they're going to try to manipulate a situation where... Baron doesn't necessarily kill Flash, but Flash dies uh, from an unpreventable incident. So they're going to trick Flash into thinking that he can escape. He's going to attempt to escape, and then you'll see what happens next. Hint, hint, it pays off an earlier scene. I hate scenes where they get So they're trying to tackle drown them? Yes. The idea is to kind of leave them in there. And this murky water that's mm-hmm. green. The idea is that they fill the cage with just enough water so that eventually, you know, see how they're hanging on the top of the cage like that? Yeah. That they'll eventually get, the muscles will get tired, they'll drop, and they'll drown. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, that just happened to that guy over there. The Hawkman. <laughs> he drowned in the jello. <laughs> so they beat the confession out of Aura. Ming and Kladish are talking. Uh, Aura will be banished to Phrygia the day after my wedding. One year in a cabin of ice will cool her blood. Wait, that's, just, that's just mean. You're her father. Why in the world would you do she that? betrayed him. Daddy, if we lived on a planet, would you never do that to me? Don't betray me and I won't send you to an ice planet. <laughs> I'm like slowly lifting my shoulders because he terrifies me. Well, let's make sure you know who your loyalties are. Wait, you're now... Wait, you're now... What? What was that? Where is Aura now? So are you aiming at probably, that probably that washing out the boar worms. What? Ew. Yeah. And here are the hawk people. They're yep. flying. Um, I'm. Yeah, so this is flying, long stretch in the middle flying, of here, where there's flying. not a tremendous amount of action, but there's a lot of like, here's what's happening with this person. Here's what's happening with this person. Um, so like the beginning of this movie. It's really, like, action-oriented. Um, there's a lot going on very fast. And the end of this movie is a big action sequence. But the middle here... Well, uh, place. It's a lot of, like, exploration of this universe. You get to see different places. It's kind of like, you know, kind of the way Star Wars was. Uh, where it was really? kind of slow in places, but you kept changing locations a lot, and there was stuff happening. When when the um when the the, the two people were like flying, I was singing a song for my show. Terrific! I'm flying, flying. Indeed, I do, my love. There she is on the lazy Susan. Right. Whee! <laughs> I'm just like turning it around and like close my eyes. So a lot of the plot structure is set up with our Earthlings trying to negotiate and or manipulate the two most likely to, enemies of my enemies to join forces and fight me, which are Prince Baron's people and uh, the Hawk people. And that's like half this movie. Yeah. It's convincing everybody to rise up against Ming. Gordon's alive? <laughs> so Zarkov is trying to convince the Hawk people... But now is the time, time to strike. To, time to attack, y'all. Boom. I don't know why I do that. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. 
<laughs> I just make go. No uh, gurgling noises. Is that a dagger? <laughs> yes. He's walked into a trap. Dang it! <laughs> See, this, is how, this is how they're going to get out of not killing him. He's going to kill himself when he gets hit, you know, when he gets manipulated into being stung by the wood beast. See? It looks like, why is that, that guy look, is, it looks like he's wearing a woven kimono. kimono. Is it not fashionable enough for you? No, it is. Just, it looks cool how They're it, all wearing it woven looks, clothing. Have you noticed that? Yeah, but Does his it, looks like a kimono. Okay. But that that seems to be the style of this planet is woven clothing. Because well, it's nature-y. That's right. Fabric clothes are bad. Correct. And first Flash is like, I'm not sticking my hand in there. I feel like this guy's kind of cheating. And because this is the 80s when men were men and the sheep were frightened, Prince Baron's like, huh, pansy. He does it, he does it nothing happens. It's like a weakling. That's right. <laughs> And of course, you know, Gordon Flash Gordon's not going to be called a chicken, so he does it. He... This is how you prove you're a man. Seen... This is how you prove you're a man. Oops. <laughs> this is how you prove you're a man. Hey, man, man, man. <laughs> I got this up my feet. I feel like this guy's kind of cheating because he's already done it. Yeah, but you never know where the wood beast is going to show up. I mean, look, he's right under his hand. But the wood beast apparently didn't feel him. I mean, it's Russian. Essentially, this is like Russian. Essentially, this is Russian roulette. You know what Russian roulette is? No. It's it's a it's a it's a game of chance, but there's a chance that you get your head blown off. Yeah. So it's see Russian roulette. It's. Why do I feel like I'm just scared of the, these are real things to happen? Which one? With well, a wood beast or Russian roulette? Both. <laughs> okay. Well, there's no such thing as a wood beast, at least not that we're aware of. Until we until we meet aliens, then there might be a wood beast. Do we? And we find a new planet. But what about the Russian roulette? Is that a real thing? It is a real thing that people have done. In the movie The Deer Hunter, there's a very famous scene of two people playing Russian roulette. It's not. It's not a common thing, though. All right. So see, Flash is now tricking them into thinking he got stung by the wood beast because he doesn't want to do this anymore. Hey. He's already. You know, he's already made it at least once. Our stays depending on your strength. He basically he's he's saying that the wood beast poisons you, which is why they. Which is, aha! Sucker! Sucker! <laughs> <laughs> Many people say that when you get tricked. Sucker! And Flash Gordon is not going to go running head headlong into the swamp. <laughs> Save you later, sinkers. Hey, Daddy, yesterday me and, me and Maya and me and Willie um, made a little campsite. <laughs> so, all right. And again, this is why they built into the trees. Watch what happens to Flash here. Yes, I remember this scene. This scene terrified me. <laughs> yeah, this is also pretty gross. No, oh, no, get, don't get eaten by the ground monster. Huh. Right into the quicksand. Oh, but that was a ground monster. I... Oh, that's coming next. Hey, um... Flash is having is a bad day. Is quicksand a real thing? Yes. Where can it be found? Probably the Middle East. We don't live there, right? Not currently, no. <laughs> we live in North America, Captain <laughs> Geography. <laughs> I know that if you... I know that if you move in quicksand, that means it's going to suck you in more. But if you don't move, then it'll just mm. always hurt you out. So despite you know you being drowned in in the swamp, and he, at slow. least he could, took a bath. He a finds what he bath. thinks is a vine, and he starts pulling himself out. But it's actually an octopus. Of some sort. Because <laughs> octopus have those long things. This is a nightmare planet. Like, I would never live there in a million years. <laughs> okay, to the ground monster we go. There he is. One, two, two, two. and... Three. Terrifying moment. <laughs> it's a terrifying Just moment. when you think it's over, they pull you back in. Literally. And, oh my god, what I that? forgot how ugly that thing was. Oh god, That's pretty gross, right? Yeah. It looks like it's it looks like it's poking himself. I think it has nipples. Ew! <laughs> I think this Ew. will happen. A spiral got hit by 
Jotobonics Swink Swink Lake put on the big way setting. Oh my god, what is that on here? That's your spider with it, then buried underground. Or whoever comes and back to it. Saved in the nick of time by the hawk people. Uh, Voltan wants a word with you, Baron. Uh, what in the. And that's the Murder Hornet spaceship. That looks like. Why did that look like a bee for a second? Mm. Yeah, no, it actually looks like a fly. I'm flying. I keep on saying I'm flying because that's a scene from my show and they, they look like they're flying. Uh huh. It's the biggest bee you ever seen. Mango. Mongo. Oh. <laughs> Which is the kingdom. The, it is Ming the Merciless of the kingdom of Mongo. Mongo is also a terrible wrestler in world championship wrestling. Mm. Be, be glad Daddy that, has spared that, you. That looks like a space bed. It is a space bed. Okay. Very similar to what you see in The Empire Strikes Back with Darth Vader. Even though this is a contemporary of that movie, there really are a scene. fair amount of similarities. Makes me think there was spying on. This is my worst scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't like the fight scene here? Yeah, this scene just is too much. I like it. She's making the platform move and spikes are coming up. Yeah. That, that's what you said. Like 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 that's scene. I agree with you, Jonas. And if the UFC weren't cowards, they would absolutely put, you know, tilting uh, platforms and spikes in the UFC cage. I would totally... I, I, I like in a women nation match. The They'll do that in a women nation match. The football scene is hilarious to me. That's why I like it. That's what they do in a women nation match, but not the spikes. And then they, and then they should, that shirt. And then the UFC should have give guys bleach and towels and mm. pour it on each other. And like. they're about to see <laughs> them go to their death. We're going to walk on the spaceship, I guess. That's the death. <sighs> Excuse me. Flash? Oh, and we're reunited. I was mumbling the oh. words until she said flash. Oh, look at that camera angle. Look at that. They ran from either side of the frame into the middle. Long lost lovers. It's kind of it's kind of like in a funny scene from my favorite show. They're like doing slow-mo running from each side. Like... And then Bonk. someone said, we're two people having to see each other. They're running really slow. <laughs> so Bonk. No! You're Take about me that. back to him! Would you leave us alone? I just got engaged. <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that was a... Okay, for a second, I, I forgot about the scene, so I don't think we're about to walk the plank back there. <laughs> oh, this is pilot ship space! Yes. What the plank! Okay, so... Ah! so Boom! Boom! <laughs> Alright, here's some whips for your pleasure. Oh, uh, whips. You use whips the most. <laughs> Boo, Prince Baron. Be a good sport. Shake hands. Come you, on, bro. Before you try to kill the guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine he just like run off the side? <laughs> well, that was that, quick. that would just be dumb. That would just be a dumb thing to do. Like, well, I mean, to do this, to boil They're on a very small I'm, platform. He's like, do to do to do this, to boil I just, I just copied what she did. She like, off the side. Oh no, Flash got whips. Close my eyes. <laughs> So what we see here is Prince Baron and Flash in a whipping match. Oh, no. In a whipping no. match. No. And Voltan's not a fan of Prince Baron. So, or Flash. Well, I, I think he prefer if Prince Baron fell off into the thing. But also, he just wants to make it more fun and amusing for everybody. So he's tilting the platform. Uh, okay, this is, it's all fun again until you put up the spikes. <laughs> well, this is, Daddy? A, this is a fight to the death, Lily. But until he puts up the specs, I'm freaking out. Daddy, I think the camera's zoomed out. I didn't ever realize this before, but with the closed captioning on, it just said that the crowd is all chanting, die, die, die at them. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! Even in space, everybody loves a death match. I just leaned forward because that terrified me. You know what happens here. I know, but it still terrifies me. What is, I like how that one guy just gets stabbed and his eyes pop out. That's coming next. Oh, look at that punch right in the face. Oh. They're like, it's like, it's like the floor is lava. And the thing is, you're not allowed to step on the spikes. This might be Timothy Dalton's best work. I like closing my eyes right now. I tell ya, it's no fun being whipped. This is the second time 
second whip scene ever. Yes, this, this movie likes its whip scenes. He has some whips with the. I like how that guy feels. I like how when the guy gave them whips, he was like, yeah, he has some whips oh, for your pleasure. Sure. I was reading All what right. she was saying. So Flash is going to try to. Uh, Baron oh, oh. has I, I Flash by the neck, trying out. to dump him off the platform. Whip. Well, I like how he just whipped the spike. Oh, and there goes Prince Baron. <gasps> You should be this glad. A cool fight scene all I really all wonder if the oh my god, spike. And he's gonna drive his drive his head through the spike. Oh and even god. then, Flash is like, "Whatever, kill me, kill whoever, just kill Ming, kill him." Up oh, with, with an assist by Prince Voltan, the platform slip uh, tilts and down goes. Prince and now they got to avoid the spike staring us. But the our hero here doesn't want to see Baron die because he needs but, him, and because oh, killing is can bad. Do it. So he, he saves can him here. Do it. We will believe in you. And because he kills him, now Baron feels like he owes him one. Yeah, I owe you one. I guess. Here see, you go. see how the plot develops here. Is this humanity madness? No, see. No oh, one was gosh. convinced to fight Ming on speeches. They saw it was actions. Flash's honorable actions is what turns the tide. He's basically me, but blonde, and he's a boy, <laughs> and he's a man. So there's a lot of differences between you and Flash Gordon. Yeah, but he's he has the same kind of actions as me, almost. Oh yeah. He's through kind. honor and grace, you have you through honor and grace, you have gotten a. Uh, an army together to, to take on the tyrants? No, but I'm kind of like him. You're a nice person, Lily. No, I not really like Flash. You don't like Flash? No, I said it was not really like Flash. Yeah, I know. I am, yeah. But I think so. I'm optimistic, okay? Everyone, charge! Ah! Why All does that right, look like here a bullet? Comes Clytus. Why in the world does that it's look just like an away bullet? ship, like in Star Trek. Little shuttlecraft. Yeah. Oh, I am the king of the darkness, and I come to destroy you all. Yeah, Clytus kind of looks like Skeletor from He Man. <laughs> I remember He Man. Okay. So Clytus has arrived, and of course, he's surrounded by hawk people. He's by himself, and nobody puts a finger on him. Yet. Yet. Meanwhile, he's like, You're punished, you're punished, you're punished. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, blah blah. <laughs> I just. All right, Prince Baron no is no longer, longer a prince. He's being charged with treason and under arrest. Oh great! <laughs> and this is where they admit they tortured her. And Prince Baron, having had enough of this crap, <laughs> <laughs> flash <laughs> punches Clytus, and boom, down he goes, right on the spikes. And there you go, Jonas. Here's where, here's where his eyes pop out. Ah, uh, very dramatic. Mm, we love money. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, as a kid, that didn't bother me though. That looks so goofy. It looked disturbing. <laughs> He's Dis- like, okay, good <laughs> way out of my wife. I guess I just need a funny face. Someone get me yeah. a pail. <laughs> Someone get me a pail. <laughs> All right, Prince Baron trying to convince uh, Voltan, who's now pissed. That his kingdom's about to get blasted into space. He's yeah. like, well, this is where uh, we can mount a rebellion. And Voltan's you're like, all, I... You're all mad. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy, people. Yes. How about you just throw that guy off the ledge now? So Voltan, at this point, is just trying to get his people out of harm's way. But we'll come back to Voltan a little bit well, later. I, I get that I try to look like war people, but that just... Looks very the, they, they have a Spartan look. You ever see the movie? If I ever show you like three hundred, okay. it's it, they, 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 the aesthetic they're going for here is Spartan. Spartan with wings. Okay, that doesn't help me. Sometimes. <coughs> it doesn't help. Okay, the, it well, doesn't help well, with the fact that they're wearing well, very of, very short shorts. Well, instead of googling nonsense and YouTubing nonsense, you can look up Spartans. No, why? Uh, what was that? Oh no, the spaceship's coming. Go oh, the way you die. Ah, 
Whip it. Whip it. This is so funny. The Zarkov's trying to like wave them off, and they're like, should we kill him? <laughs> Why does he look like a vampire right now? What happened to his oh, hail? This dude looks He's like a wearing vampire. a helmet. He looks like a vampire, though, with that on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't do suck your blood! Okay. <laughs> All right, so now they've all left, and we're left with Ming oh talking my God, to Flash what happened? here. What happened? They, here? They, they left in a hurry, um, and so Ming is going to try to convince Flash in this scene that w clearly killing him doesn't work because it's you know they've tried twice now. <laughs> um, so why not maybe bribe him? Into joining Ming's side, and so he's going to make no him like way. like the the regional governor of Earth under Mongo law. Here and now, off a slash that. garden, a kingdom of Mongo to rule of his own. Like, You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Why am I going to? Because I've never before met your like. You're a hero, don't you see that? Yeah. Who better so? than you to rule a kingdom? Your moon is drifting very close now. Earth's end might come within hours. Yes, they've said twice it's 14 hours. Holy cow. <laughs> and so, Flash's yes, thinking about the then. deal. And so Ming says... Yes and no. After the earthquakes and tidal waves, they won't quite be the human beings you remember. They'll be more tractable, easier for you to rule in the name of Ming. No! <laughs> You mean slaves. Let's just say they'll be satisfied with Sometimes, us. There's a scene from a show I was I was in, and um, my, one of the characters asked if he wanted to be part of their gang, which was a bad guy. Mm -hmm. It was my Peter Pan performance, and and so and so he, he said so he would make him do stuff, and they were like, "No way, Jose!" Like the guy who's the so. The, so the bad guy wanted him to join this gang, but he would. But and they, they and they told him what he would have to do, and he. <laughs> I just had to tell him that. Whoa, was that like a black hole? <laughs> black yep. hole. Oh, 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 so all right. So oh. basically, Ming offered Flash rule over the Earth, but he'd be ruling over like. See, it's kind of similar to my Neanderthals. My, like, um, and then they were going to marry Dale off to Bing, and then they were going to breed her and send the children back to Earth to repopulate. Seems like that would take a while, but hey, it's not going to happen anyway. Why does it, why does it look like the castle is like floating? Because like, it's floating. No, 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 like with rocket boosters. Because <laughs> it's floating with rocket boosters. <laughs> like, I'm trying to make I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to make, I'm trying to make it seem cool, and then you're like stating the obvious. All right. Because so, <laughs> it was obvious. <laughs> All right, here it is. We are into Act Three here, the coolest this, part of the movie. I love this scene. And Yay! Okay, so one of my favorite songs from one of my it's, favorite movies. It's a new Obby. Escape the Tell Table. Go ahead, Lily. Um, so in one of my favorite songs and my favorite movie, this guy he was like walking around, and then the hall started like moving around, and then and he was like walking, it was like falling and like walking. Like, so, like, the camera was, like, moving like this, uh -huh. and then he was, like, like, fall down when the wall was like this, and then, like, he basically was, like, running around it. All right, so, they, they, great. They planned, so, Ming blasts the Hawkman Palace. That's gone now. So, the Hawkmen have free camped <laughs> on Aborea, which is where Prince, Val um, Prince Baron's people are, and there's some dissension within the ranks. They're like, why didn't you fight with him? And he was like, well, let's try and get everyone safe. What do you want from me? Then fight! And now everyone's safe. They're like, we got to go to a fight. But they think Flash is dead. And Flash says, hey, Voltan. Wait, do you read me? Maybe this is a great I line. Read. I love this. Huh? Where are you? This is Voltan. I Here it is. You. Flying oh, blind on a rocket, rocket cycle. cycle. Flying it's blind on a rocket, rocket cycle? cycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Um. This is a very action-packed movie. It's got some good action scenes in it. After this, can we talk about like what was our favorite scene? What was our sure. favorite scene? I will want to do it. Okay, then you can leave. <laughs> All right, so Voltan has agreed 
now that they're now that his people are safe, they're gonna join with Flash and they're gonna commit to one final attack against Ming the Merciless. Ah. And the armies of Mongo. I like the colors on her outfit. Yeah? Yeah, they're pretty. She's wearing pink. Mm-hmm. Get your hands oh, off of oh, me! Oh, Get your hands off of me, boys! And here we go! Ah. Cat fight! Cat fight! And attack! <laughs> Cat fight! <laughs> Whoa. I like the I like, I like their bed. Yeah, it's color. Yeah. It's very pretty. <laughs> I'll buy one of those beds. So, Around bed. in the scene prior to this, Dale Arden's running what? around shooting people with guns and doing all kinds of ninja flips. Meanwhile, they're fighting <laughs> with pillows. <laughs> Meanwhile, a scene or two later, they're fighting with pillows. <laughs> Guess you didn't have a gun, huh? That's right. Cat fight. Very, very pity pink dress. Yeah, you're okay with this one? Yes. <laughs> Modest enough for you? Yes. <laughs> and so, Aurora, uh, Aura saying that she's trying to repent for her pre- previous sins, and she didn't know what a bastard her father was until, <laughs> until she had to get the boar worms. And it's like, oh, the, the stamping and the, the other... What in the world are boar It's just a thing they put in the movie that seems ominous. So Aura's trying to convince Dale to poison Ming. And Which is your father? Well, at this point, I don't think she cares. <laughs> you were very you were Molten who's okay. He's Bolton the bad and who's Ming. Mm-hmm. I keep on thinking Bolton is Ming. Ming is just another person. So this whole scene here is Aura trying to make nice with Dale. And... <laughs> Ah, there's your friend with the headpiece again. <laughs> this girl has one dress. And it's this green. Yep. It's the same she color as the drink that made her drunk. It's ugly. the same it's the same exact color as the drink that made her drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can save me now. Flash! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good! Flash! Say when you get done watching the movie, you can go back in your room, put it on Spotify, and check out all of Queen's music. Because it's so good. Maybe. Fat yeah, Bottom I... Girls. Bicycle. Uh, we maybe. will rock you. I heard that. Hey, Who wants to live forever? I got in my mouth, then I destroyed it. Great. I feel like it's how they take off the glasses. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. They revealed a final right. form. So, flat, so a lone gunman on a rocket cycle is flying Even towards this heavily armed castle. And will somehow is- manage to evade any number. <laughs> I mean, they get, it. They get the how, cycle. Like, how it, it, that whole castle is black, gold, and red. Mostly red and gold. Um, no. Um, why do those lasers look like swords? <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I just realized that that tippy tippy right. top. So, only green. the whole point there was to bait Mongo's forces, Ming's forces, into going into. There's always. Oh God, this is such an ongoing thing in like space fantasy and science fiction. There's always some sort of nebulous cloud, nebula, where, you know, pretty nothing art. works. It's pretty art. Nothing works. You can't shoot anything. You don't have scanners. Uh, it's always used to try to help the. Good guys get an advantage over the heavily armed bad guys. And even they figured it out. They're like, <laughs> they're like, I'm not going in there. That's crazy talk. You're crazy. But that was the point of this, was to... Shall we go after him, Captain? Nope. No, they're, not going into the, the... they're not going into the harmful cloud, which is clearly they an ambush. They look like flying monkeys. The black, they, the black shadows, they look like flying monkeys. <laughs> no, they're flying people. Monkeys. Flying people. Hawkmen. Hawkmen. <laughs> really, from far away, they look like flying monkeys. Mm-hmm. I'm a flying monkey from Wizard of Oz! Away! <laughs> Sit down, dude. The Paris guy in that's to catch Gordon. Oh, no! Yeah. I can't wait to see our podcast. Whoa! Lightning Storm! Attack! Wow. You're trying to, They're trying to flush you out. Okay, let's go. You're trying to flush you out. Well, they think he's dead at this point, and think that whatever's in that cloud was affected by whatever they just did to it. 
Good, they're coming through. Let's fail a lot, flash forward and... Dive! Dive, 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 submarine. Boink. I dive! It's alive! It's alive! Uh, <laughs> Why did Philly just almost like a better end game? <coughs> Maybe it is. Not quite, but you Maybe yeah. something. But to me, it is in a way because it's all like. Because it's almost like um, they're all in a battle. Maybe it is. Maybe fans can show up any second and fan no snap. And they could actually be holding a, a fan of what a, one of those gems. I'm gonna get some. All right, the hawk. Go ahead. The hawkmen are diving and attacking this one lone ship that they sent in after Flash Gordon. Hello. You can't hear because we have it on mute, but this is great music. Backing up this fight scene. WWE could learn a few things from Flash Gordon. I want to listen to it now. Well, we can't because then it'll just be disruptive to the uh, to the podcast. Okay. Stop all engines. Repel borders. And then fight. Yes. What do you say? Fight. If you if you should have, if you should find yourself sitting on a hawk person, fart on him. <laughs> They are definitely into, like, the skull head aesthetic in this movie. Why does that look so fake? <laughs> that one man is falling You're so critical of the special effects that, in this movie. That him, that looks so fake. And it's like, I just spin it Well, let me ask you a question. You're directing this, and you want to make a cool action sequence, and you happen to be fighting this battle in the sky. Well, what are you going to do? Oh. This one looked in, like, 2D. But okay. that one man was falling. You're a harsh critic. <laughs> No, I don't want to die. That's what that one man hanging for. Mm -hmm. Wait, he has wings. Yes, but he was hitting the wings. Oh. Oh, well, who wants to live forever? <laughs> you can't live forever. You're going to get old and pass away. Let's no, they win this fight, remember? Okay. <laughs> I'm now confused. <laughs> yeah, well, you were confused before we started this movie. Mm hmm. I like the hawk people just went out on the sides. It's a side party. <laughs> I think did the Prince Baron people not have spaceships? Like, how do they get off the planet to go do tributes and stuff? You know, so they like, probably ride on the Hawkman. I'm just saying, like, why didn't why didn't the Hawkman get like? I don't know. I feel like this would have been a better ending, and, and maybe it was written this way, but they changed it because of budgeting. But like this. The more I think about it, the more I Wee. think that, like yeah. this final assault should have been a combination of the Aborians and the Hawkmen. And the humans. What humans? What Gordon? Okay, he's a dude. One guy. <laughs> no, there's other humans. Ugh. Everybody else gets my point. <laughs> <laughs> The, of the established characters in the movie. I'm wondering if, like I said, if it was written in that way, and then they were like, we got to cut this for budgetary reasons. Because you went out of your money. Yeah, correct. Money, 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 money. We need some money. Oh, I'm, I'm out. Up. I'll pick them up then. Like, All right, they are boarding the. Uh, they are boarding the cat. Uh, bleh. You the just command center. That, that guy. Yes, these are heavily armed hawk people. Stabbing. <laughs> stab in the gut. Most of the people stabbing each other in the guts. Apparently it's called a, a bab in the gut, not a stab. It's a great a way to. It's a great way to. Kill somebody on the cheap. It'll be way funny if they did this. Stab in the penis. I can't believe they're like 
forcing her to do this. Like, that's terrible. I like the little trick where you tend to try to marry someone, saying, like, I said not. Huh? I do not. <laughs> I that's love coming. that little trick. Yeah, because that, cause that actually happened in the live action Aladdin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do not. Then you just jump off the balcony, then the magic. I became safer. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Boom. Stab in the back. Right in the back of the neck. <laughs> Somebody took the time to spray paint Long Live Flash in the dungeon. The guy's been there for less than 24 hours. <laughs> Yay, we're free! <clears throat> Alright, now Baron is free, Zarkov is free, Aura's got them. I'll see where they go. Ooh, some goldfish. Hey! I'm glad we take it. Aura seems to have a magic green lantern ring. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so she just points it and like yellow stuff comes out everywhere and it can do anything. No, the guy in the green should have a green lantern ring. I think she should, right? Yeah. Why the power of green lantern? We night! <sighs> All right. Flash and crew have taken over the ship. And now the hot people ate too much, and the hot people also ate too much garlic. <laughs> That's what I say when something. Oh, it's going to be rude. Okay, now I don't want to say it because now I think it's going to be rude. Yeah, then I wouldn't say it then. All right, we're less than we're we're. Uh, what is it, three minutes or no? Yeah, it's three minutes until the Earth uh, buys it. Well, I only have a secret hideout under here. I hide under here. Oh well, the Let's see what Mingo City is saying. <laughs> a black wedding dress. It's a nice day for a black wedding. It's actually a white wedding, but changing the lyrics to match the costuming. Uh-huh. And she's in another freaking dress. Dude, Aurora has like the best costume changes in this movie. You don't like it because she shows too much flesh. Correct? Yeah. She's not wearing a lot. No. <laughs> All right, we're at the all good sp- science uh, space fantasy movie should end in a wedding. But now you're going to take off their glasses. <laughs> it's like the best scene in the movie. I love when all of them are just exploded. Yeah. All weapons now. Again. Yeah, she's the only what? smart one. She knows that, that, that that's not their real ship. That's like, is that the, like, one dress she owns? Yeah, she's she's not into the fashion changes like the other women are. There's no cause for alarm. We only have the weapons on. And I am a fly. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Ship's taking heavy fire, baby. And Volt- <laughs> Voltan's like, alright, it's time to go. And Flash's like, nah. So that guy's Voltan. Yes. So, the whole point here is Flash is going to fly the ship uh, into the palace and knock the weapons out. Um... Similar in Star Wars in the sense that he's got a target he's got to hit. Not, it's not quite the Death Star target where it's really, really small and almost impossible. But he's, he's saying that the ship's taking so much damage that if he just lets it fly on its own, he's not going to make. The, he's not going to hit the target. So he figures, screw it. We'll take a chance here. He will. He is a hero. He will sacrifice himself to take down the weapons, and then the Hawk people can mount a full assault without the cannons firing at them. This is what heroes do.
Let this be known forever as Flash Gordon Day. Yes. All right, Jen, your favorite part's coming up. Yay, take off the sunglasses. The virtual reality. They were just playing <laughs> video games this whole time. All right, here it goes. Just a take. We'll figure out where Bing is. Just take the glasses off. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I think they look weird. So those guys were robots this whole time. Mm-hmm. Cyborgs, something like that. Wait, now you have to... Now he could just give you those sunglasses you wanted. You want me to reach through the screen and grab them? Yeah. <laughs> reach through the screen and grab you. General Kala. General Kala. That was her name. General Kala. There's punch. Wasn't it funny? If one of the boys was like acting out her voice and was like, Yeah, I'm still here. Hold <laughs> the fire. Everything's <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's, she's, she's made of uh, Persian crude oil. White dead. White Boom. dead. Uh -huh. I like that Zarkov doesn't know what to do, so he's just going to start mashing. Hey, why does signs look like Toad? Oh, Jesus Christ. The buttons looked like Toad. Yes, Jonas. All right, and now Prince Brown's going to pull a Jesse Ventura here. Take like a mounted gun off its mount. Now he has a bigger gun. Woo! -hoo! Shotgun. Mm. Why do you have a sword? It's a military wedding. He's the <laughs> king. Daddy, I'm going to talk about you but something after after this, okay? Sure. I love this. These vows are great. Do you, do you vow to take this earthling as your wife? Do you promise to use her as you will? Certainly. Not to blast her into space. See? We should have used these wedding vows at our wedding, Melissa. <laughs> Until such time as you grow weary of her. <laughs> I, the boy's like, I do. I do not. <laughs> I got less than two minutes to save the earth. We're all going to die. Boop, boop, time is running out. Nothing like a ticking clock to give you a sense of tension in a scene. The time is running out. Mm-hmm. Ring, 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 ring. Yo, you're forcing her to put out her hand? Yes. Oh, wait, that's just wrong. With this ring, I thee wed. Then he might close him. Oh, Dale. So oh, damn shame. Yep, and the lightning feels down, and oh Christ, here comes the airplane. <laughs> we began with an airplane crashing into a lab. We're going to end with a spaceship crashing into a cast castle. Like you do. <laughs> you have it. Oh, Scooter! <laughs> ah, what are your lives? <laughs> like, why why can't I get rid of this guy? <laughs> like, do, 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 I'm over here, Flash. And Ming oh. the Merciless went to the Prometheus school of running away. That is to say, runs directly into the thing that's going to crash into him. Are they going to make a second movie? No. Maybe, the, maybe there'll be a remake, but they're not going to do a sequel to this. Hey, they might as well recast. It's no, been it's the, been forty years, Jonas. The movie is so good. He has green <laughs> blood. The uh -huh. movie is well too good. I agree with you. I've been trying to tell people that, but nobody listens to Pete. Why did they never think of it? What? Um, well, it's too late. Yeah, I'll tell you why. You know what happens here. Because uh, this didn't make a lot of money, that's why. In, on a budget of $27 million, we'll say on the high end, this thing made just about that, depending on which figure you look at. So it's either 20 to 27 or 27 to 15 Either way, this didn't make money, so 
people didn't come go to the theaters to see it. Now, maybe with the 40th anniversary of the movie being released, you know, um, maybe this there'll be interest in it. But Flash Gordon, you know, as popular as it was, the wind's gone. Things now. just eclipsed it. Other things became more popular, and this fell by the wayside. And if you listen to some people I know, yeah, they'll tell you that Flash Gordon isn't a good thing at all. But I tell you, Flash Gordon is the best thing. I, you know, like I said, when you're competing in a space that Star Wars occupied a lot of territory over, and Star Trek occupied the other part, it was hard for stuff like Flash Gordon to find a footing. Oh no, the giant flying orb is back! Yeah, but now he's on the same side as Flash. Mm. <laughs> he's for every one of us! I love that part, they're like, boink! Yes, he jumps up and says, yeah! <laughs> Why was that not the place to start the credits? Yeah! Yeah! No. Because they had to do this last scene. Then why did he not come over after this last scene? Because, oh, Jesus Christ, Jonas. We need our number yeah. I you think. need one more yeah? Yeah. So, okay. So if you're editing this, you maybe do this scene first, have the globe then come over, uh, and then this. Flash just jumps in the air randomly and yells, yeah. Yeah. And that's how you end it? Okay. Yeah. That's a way I like to end it. <laughs> the year closes it like it's the end of the movie. Well, you know you know probably why they did it this way? Because this somewhat resembles the the um, the metal scene at the end of Star Wars. Did we, ever, we, we made it through Star Wars, didn't we? Mm-hmm. After they blow up the Death Star and they walk down the hall mm-hmm. and Han and Luke get medals. It's also kind of similar to High School Musical because they like froze in the photo. Mm-hmm. And then they just fell to it and that sort of thing. And the hawk people spell out thanks. Thanks, I hope, Flash. I hope now the hawk people don't do the end, the never ending credits. Oh, we're not going to watch the credits. Yay! <laughs> Can I leave now? Um, so, so there's something you want to talk about real quick. Ow, 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 ow. Well, the thing I wanted to talk about with you before, oh. um, didn't have any. So that's Flash Gordon. Go ahead, Jonas. Well, my, my favorite part, I'm going to tell you my favorite part of the movie. Okay. I love when they take off the sunglasses and then exploded it. Wait, what's your favorite part? Um, my favorite part has to be the football scene. My favorite part is when I went under this table. Hmm? Oh, help, help, say, ow, why did you do that? All right, Lily, what was your, Lily, what was your favorite part of the movie? The football scene? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So that is the end of uh, our Flash Gordon commentary. hmm Off the top of your head, Lily. Mm-hmm. Uh, since you enjoy doing these commentaries with Daddy, mm-hmm. if you got to pick the next one, what do you think you'd want to do? I miss Foul. Not a commentary. We're doing a <laughs> review of that. Um, re- uh, commentary over an old movie. Old movie. Um, a new God, a Godzilla. Or what would you want me to show you? Godzilla. That, that I haven't showed you yet. Godzilla. An- another. Okay, I got it. I want Godzilla. Um. I need my Godzilla. <laughs> Thank you, Jonas. So there's more Star Wars movies I haven't showed you. There's, I haven't showed you any of the Star Treks. Um, so are you in, so let's break it down. You want to see something more like Flash Gordon? You want to see something more action oriented, but with like on Earth and not science fictiony? Yeah. Like an Indiana Godzilla. Jones kind of thing. Godzilla. Godzilla. Shut up. Maybe not exactly. I don't, I don't really know. You don't know. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. In the meantime, this has been the Rattledge and Broadcasting Network uh, participation in the Super Blog team up. Our commentary track over Flash Gordon for my son, Sir Jabberjaws, Jonas Rattledge. <laughs> for Lily the Feminist, I'm your mandated reporter, Mark Rattledge, and I'm. Mortified. (laughs) Be well, be safe, and behave.